Good morning guys. If you haven't already guessed by the video today, I thought I would just do like a little day in the life because I don't really have the energy to do a full declutter today. So I'm honouring my body and there are a couple of other things that I need to get done as well. So I thought I would just take you along with me on my day and see what we get up to. I have wrote a little to-do list so I need to put some washing in i need to put some washing away i need to go on my laptop in a bit and see if i can order some stuff that we need for jersey so i could really do with like decent shampoo bar but i might have a look at what i've already got actually and see if i can do because i saw a shampoo bar that works as both shampoo and body and I thought well that would be really handy but actually I think I've got a shampoo bar upstairs that I might not have opened yet so I'll just see first whether that one can do body and hair as well and I might just take that with me but I could do with like a travel what's it called like a toiletry case that you put like your toothbrush and your toothpaste and all of that in because I don't really have one because we don't really travel a lot but I could do with one because I just think it would be easier to put everything in that and uh, use that like mine and Dexter's stuff so that's what I'm going to do is look for something like that today and depending on my energy levels might go for a little walk but we're just going to see how I feel after I've done everything that I need to get done I need to make Dexter some eczema cream so I ordered some ingredients to make my own eczema cream because Dexter's eczema has been flaring slightly it's nothing major so I don't really want to buy like anything and I'd rather put natural stuff like homemade stuff on his skin so I'm going to see if I can do that today while he's not here but his like around his mouth here is like really bad really dry and he keeps licking it so that's not helping but he's also got like patches of eczema on his skin so like he gets these little circular patches it's called discoid eczema and it just flares up every now and again I think it might be gluten in his diet because I feel like when he has too much gluten his skin flares and so I may have to cut gluten out again because I want to say we cut gluten out for a couple of weeks didn't we and we and he was actually better like even his mood and everything was better but it's just really hard to do like a gluten free vegan diet like it's really difficult and it's really expensive and so and also like when we went to the doctors about his eczema the doctor actually said like cut it out for a bit and then like slowly reintroduce it and that's what we've done but I think when he has too much of it his skin flares and he gets really grumpy and so I do think it might be like some sort of gluten intolerance but we'll see. I'm going to make this eczema cream anyway at some point today and try it on his skin and I'll let you know how it all goes and what I'll do is I'll video myself making it and I'll put the ingredients down below in case anyone's interested i have no idea if it's going to work so it's not entirely vegan as well because i am going to put honey in it and i'm also going to put beeswax in it but i have bought organic beeswax and i'm going to use manuka honey and i'm also going to put collodial oatmeal in it and some coconut oil and just stuff that's meant to be like really good for his skin and hopefully it will work but I don't feel comfortable getting any like medicated creams we've tried medicated creams in the past and to be honest they haven't really worked it's I feel like the only thing that did work was like cutting gluten out of his diet for a bit so we may have to like try and look into doing that again I don't really know what's going on but it's definitely affecting his skin what I might do is go upstairs and see if I can get a little tiny bit of decluttering done because there's that tower of doom in ben's room 
which I do want to see if I can tackle and I think I'm going to go upstairs and just literally do that so that I can have it all like done before Jersey because I know in like a previous video last year I had said that I was going to give myself until the end of March to be fully decluttered but honestly it's so unrealistic of me because with a chronic illness it's really difficult to set yourself like targets and goals like that and it was very ambitious of me and yeah it's never gonna happen so instead I'm just taking the approach that I'll just do it as and when I can instead of burning myself out all the time obviously I am still very much on a mission to declutter but it's just gonna take longer for me and I know that most of you understand that and most of you are here for the journey so thank you. We're also waiting for a package because Ben needs to go to the shop and get a few ingredients for um, a vegan chilli that we're going to make today so I might record Ben making chilli as well unless you want to record, would you be happy to record yourself making chilli? I'm bad with angles so probably not. I'll cook it but I just don't want to record it. This is what I live with, Mr Grumpy over here. Mr Grumpy! This is like the real life Mr Grumpy by the way. Mr Grumpy! Mr Grumpy! <laughs> You're such a grumpy little git! Right, I'm gonna stop bugging Ben and I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> Seriously though, he's like the grumpiest person on the planet. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and see if I can do a little tiny bit of decluttering. Honestly, I've been putting this Tower of Doom off. <sighs> this box looks like a box of stuff that needs sorting out. And the bottom box is definitely a keepsake box. So ideally, I think there's some room under the bed that I can just shove that under the bed. But I want to try and tackle this today because I really just... I keep putting it off. <laughs> and I can't keep putting it off. So I've got to try my very best to try and find places for the things that I know I want to keep. And all the other stuff, I don't know what to do with basically <laughs> probably just need to get rid of it as soon as i've got this area clear then i want to look into getting some nice bedside tables and just making it a bit nicer for my parents to stay because when we go on holiday to jersey in may um my mum and dad are well i know that my mum is definitely coming to rabbit set i'm not sure what my dad's doing he may be coming as well or he may be staying at home either way my mum will definitely be here for the whole week rabbit sitting for us and so i just want to make this feel like a bedroom i just want to make it feel more homey and just less of a junk room really i do feel proud of how far i've come with this room and if you've been following me for a while now you'll know like how bad this room has been ever since the day we moved in it's been terrible it's we used to have that massive like calac unit with all the stuff in but now i haven't got that unit i feel like i've got nowhere to put this stuff and like some of this stuff probably will get shoved in the airing cupboard which is not ideal however it's better than it being up this wall I feel like and I do need to tackle that airing cupboard again but I do need my mum's help with it because it's a massive massive task. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this on the bed and I'm just going to sit on the bed because it means that I'm not like over exerting myself. So I will adjust the camera so that you can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to see if I can just categorise where these things need to go and try and get them put wherever it is that they need to go. This is something I've been putting off for a very long time and that's just fallen on the floor. So I'm going to have to get up and go and get that in a second. But yeah, this is just something that I've been putting off for a very long time and I need to stop procrastinating on it really. This box, I need to see if I can get under the bed, which I think I can with a little bit of reorganisation because I did empty a couple of boxes under the bed and actually got rid of some things so I think there is space. This box is probably going to be the last one that I go through. Packages here. <laughs> As I was saying before the door went, <laughs> this is probably going to be the last box I go through because this is stuff that I've handmade that was up, well some of it was up on Etsy, some of it wasn't. I need to go through it and basically decide whether I'm going to try and sell it on Vinted or whether I'm going to just charity it. 
and I think there are a couple of things in here that aren't finished so I think what I'm gonna have to do which is really annoying because I can't really be bothered to unravel them and I can't really be bothered to finish them I don't even know what size hook I was using for some of them and I think I'm just gonna have to come to terms with putting them in a bag to go in the textiles recycling at the dump and so I do need to go through this one but I think I'm just going to do this one last. I have also just been around the other side of the bed there's a massive gap under there so I'm going to shove this box which is a keepsake box under there. Ben this is heavy could you could you lift it over there and just like shove it in that gap under the bed? Thank you. So that is that one gone and now I'm just left with all of this that is on the bed which I need to sort out. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to sit here on the bed <laughs> so that I don't wear myself out too much. Every Sunday I used to watch cartoons, but now I'm here Waking up with you, I would get excited About my favorite show Now you're the only thing I want to watch And all I want to know Take me to a movie, a matinee Walk out in the middle why I do this. Okay, so I think I've established that a lot of this stuff is just stuff that does have a place and needs to be put in that place. For example, I've got like crafty bits here that I've just been got out and not put back. And all of this is just like electric leads and stuff that just need to go in the box under the bed so that's got all the rest of the leads in. And there's a few of like Dexter's toys dotted around here. There's notepads that I need to just put back in the airing cupboard with all the other notepads because I'm trying to get down them all. I don't know how I've accumulated so many. And then I've got a couple of like unfinished projects that I do want to finish, but whether I actually ever get round to them, I'm just gonna keep them for a bit longer. And if I don't get round to them, then I will. If I haven't got round to them by the end of this year, then I will take them to the textiles recycling. Not like the stuff that's in this box, that's been in this box for years and years and years and years and years and needs to go to the textile recycling now really but those couple of items there if i've not finished them by the end of this year then i will get rid of them at the textile recycling because if i've not done it by the end of this year then i'm clearly not gonna get around to doing it so i'm just gonna give everything a time limit from now on because i think that is the best way for me to be like right that's it's okay to actually like let go of this now so now most of this is just a case of me actually like going and putting this stuff away which is kind of annoying and I don't know why I do this because I feel like if anything this creates more work for myself and I know like a lot of people do this and I think it's just sheer like in the moment you just can't be bothered so you just dump it somewhere and then over time it builds up and <laughs> this is what we're left with. I really want to try and get myself into the situation where once you've got something out that you actually put it away where it goes like I don't know why I don't just do this because like I say this just creates more work it's just a nightmare and there's a few people that I've watched like A to Zen Life I don't know if anybody watches her but she's also spoke about in one of her videos, well in several of her videos actually about the one touch rule where once you've got it out, like you put it away where it goes, you don't procrastinate like I do <laughs> and create more work for yourself basically. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm gonna start like put by putting some of this stuff away. Now, some of this stuff is like homeschooling stuff, and some of it is like other paperwork that I need to put away. However, I've got a box under here with home education type things and other sorts of like paperwork in but i'm just going to bung it all in the same box and then again under here i've got a box full of needs and camera stuff now i'm not going to go through this today but this box this box does desperately need to be gone through and sorted and like i need to declutter it but I'm not going to do that, that today because I have just not got the mental capacity for it. Because again, this is another box that I've been putting off for so long now. It overwhelms me, to be honest. A lot of the leads in here, I don't know what they're for. I know that like a lot of people say, if you don't know what the leads are for, get rid of them. But I'm just not at that point where I can just ruthlessly do that yet. Because I feel like... I'll probably will need like a couple of those leads basically what I want to do is find the time to sit down and find out what each lead is for and that is going to take a lot of time and energy and so that is the reason why I'm not doing this to that today but I will eventually get round to doing it and then I will be decluttering some leads I'm just looking for something while I've got this box out my mum gave me this tablet a long time ago I need to try and find the lead the charger for it and to be honest like I don't really use it but I was tempted to keep it just for like going to Jersey but I'm in two minds basically as to whether I do that because I really don't want to introduce Dexter to an iPad or a tablet but I also think that if I can find the charger to this, which I'm going to look for now, if I can just upload like cars onto it or something, then it might help him with the plane journey. Because in all honesty, I have no idea how he is going to react on the plane. This is going to be his first ever holiday and his first ever time on a plane. And um, I'm slightly worried because I definitely think that my son has sensory processing disorder even though I've tried to get this investigated no <laughs> professional person wants to listen to me about it and so I'm just trying to find ways that I can help him myself at home and so we're actually going on a propeller plane which are a lot louder than like a normal jet plane and so and like I'm gonna have to rein in my own anxiety that day because I don't like flying I just want to see if I can find the bloody lead to this because if I can find it then I can charge it upload a video on it but like I say I'm I'm in two minds whether to do that or not because it would be handy to have a distraction if he's like super upset on the plane it's very difficult to calm him when he's in that situation i can say all the nice things and cuddle him and but it's he's very very difficult to calm once he's in that state and so i was just basically thinking maybe i should consider taking oh here you go taking this charging it putting a movie on it and then we've got it if we need it but to not like just get it out willy-nilly basically if that makes sense because like I say I'm very very reluctant to introduce him to this type of technology and I know for a lot of people it's great and it works and do whatever you feel is best for your children if you like your children to have screen time if you like them to be able to play on iPads and tablets. I'm not judging you. You do what works for you. You do what's best for your family. But like my own personal like opinion is that I don't really want to introduce Dexter to a tablet, especially not at this age, not for a very long time. Like because I just prefer him to play and or to be outside or to not be fixated on a screen all the time there is actual evidence of um screen screen time 
and the negative impacts of screen time and how it can change like their brain and things like that and especially at a young age like I just don't think it's necessary really not in my personal life anyway we do watch tv he has like an hour of tv a day and i don't limit it in a sense that i don't let him watch tv because sometimes i need that downtime as well it's impossible when you've got a chronic illness to not watch any tv at all it's impossible and so yeah i'm saying that I just would prefer him not to then have like an iPad as well because I just think that's not really necessary and especially at this age. Anyhow, I have found that and found the lead. So I think I'm going to charge it up and see what I can put on it and take it as a precaution or take it as like I'd rather have it and not need it than to not have it and wish that I'd have taken it so as a distraction basically but not as something that we go on all the time hopefully that makes sense <laughs> anyway I don't even know if it's going to charge because like I say um I've had this for years my mum gave it to me it was my mum's and she gave it to me I've had it for years and I've never used it and then obviously I just had this thought that was like probably would be handy on the plane but I do not want him to get like addicted to using a tablet and stuff and so if ever I was going to get him his own tablet it would be for like educational purposes so I would only ever put like educational apps on there that he could like learn from and then I might not feel so bad about it but I just don't want him to get addicted to screens and technology I feel like we live in an age now where everything is technology and everything is screens and everything is, I don't know, like it just makes me sad, like it makes me sad to go out. There was like a few months ago we took Dexter to the local park and there were two teenage girls sitting on a bench and both of them were on their phones and it just makes me feel really sad because like, this, it's like there's no like real socialization like face-to-face -face interaction even when children are out and about together they're sitting on their phones they're not playing at the park and they're not like building dens and doing the sorts of things we did as children they're just glued to screens and I find that quite scary personally and I definitely just do not want that for Dexter I feel like he would have a, so much a better childhood if he has a real childhood not glued to a screen like i say i'm not judging anyone that allows unlimited screen time or whatever you do what works best for you but like in my personal opinion like that's not what i want for my child i also think that like too much screen time can actually contribute to like anxiety and depression and things like that and so yeah i just don't want my child to be addicted to a screen and so that's the point I'm trying to make and I know I've been going on about it for long enough now probably. I'm going to carry on putting all of this stuff away because I'm hoping that when Ben gets home from the shop I'll be done so then he can record himself making chilli or I'll have to record him if he's too grumpy to do it himself but I was hoping that he would just let me have a little bit of a, a break really and sit down for a bit and just rest but so I'm gonna go and put these items because these are all crafty sensory items I'm just gonna go and put these in the airing cupboard and then I'm gonna come back because there's a couple more things I need to put in the airing cupboard but I'm gonna do like a little montage of me just clearing the bed <laughs> instead of like me coming back and forth and moving the camera I'm exactly who I want Honestly, I don't think that airing cupboard is ever not going to be a junk cupboard. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I can get it to a point where it's not a junk cupboard, but at the moment it definitely is. 
what I really ideally want to do is get some shelves put up in there so that I can properly like walk in there and put stuff away properly on a shelf where it can be seen and not just dumped all in there but I'm still working on that we did take measurements but I'm waiting for my mum to like sort of help me look into what type of shelving to get it's just hard because you have to think realistically about it really so I will get round to doing it just don't know when I think I'm going to be left with this one box which is better than that tower of doom that I have going on a box of like wool and craft stuff and unfinished a couple of unfinished projects and just stuff that I need to sort that out but my my box that I keep all of my wool in now is downstairs because I'm currently working on a project and so um at a later date I will get up here and organize this into that box so that it's all in one place really and not just like over two boxes now currently I have nowhere to put this particular box so it may have to go back down there which is not ideal but also like I'm flagging a little bit with this now and I want to try and have a rest in a minute these magazines ideally I want to keep out because I'm still reading them and I don't want to put them away somewhere that I'm going to forget that I'm reading them so what I might do is take this downstairs I've got a basket here of stuff that needs to go downstairs so I'm just going to plonk those on top of that and then I'm going to put these magazines in the cupboard downstairs because then it will remind me to continue reading the articles in them and then once I'm finished I can recycle them and I've still got that box of like Etsy stuff to go through but I think I'm going to do it another day because like I say I'm flagging a little bit now so I managed to empty these which were full of just junk that needed to go away and now I don't know what to do with these because ideally these need to go downstairs and be used in the kitchen. So I might take these downstairs and use them in the um, in the pantry because they just need a bit of a wash and then we can use them in the pantry. So I think I'm going to take those downstairs. That box of Etsy stuff I'm going to leave for now and come back another day and do it because I don't want to wear myself out today. But in a minute I'm just going to show you that side of the bed in a second because it is pretty much clear. At least there's no Tower of Doom up there anymore. I've sorted out most of it but there is just one box left of stuff that I need to sort out which is this, this one that I showed you. And then what I want to do is probably move this bed, not today, but I want to move this bed more into the centre of the room because at the moment it's not centred because of us having the Calax unit there but now that's gone we can centre the bed and then I can look at getting some bedside tables in here and then my salt lamp which is currently on the floor down there which is not ideal can go on a bedside table but we'll just have to watch Dexter with it because it's a very heavy salt lamp and Dexter is a whirlwind <laughs> To say the least so there isn't as much stuff to sort out in this room now so I am definitely getting there I will show you I'll show you now actually just ignore the fact that my bag of clothes that I need to take to the charity shop is still sitting there because we haven't had chance to do it yet and Ben's stuff on the floor and then there's um, that box of stuff that I need to go through but this is clear now that is just my wedding dress under the under the bed that I'm still trying to decide what the hell I do with it I do want to get rid of it so then there'll just be this one box which I may see if I can just like shove it up there because I mean there's a ton of stuff up there that I need to sort out anyway so all of this like in the bubble wrap on top all of that is um photos that we had on the wall in the flat <laughs> And we just haven't got round to figuring out where we want to put them and hanging them. But I might see if my dad can come and do that at some point because then that won't look so bad. And then there's two bottles of stuff that's gone off that I just need to bin. So I don't know why they're up there. I think it was just to get them out of the way of Dexter. But realistically I just need to take them down and put them in the bin. This box I might 
shove up there even though it's, it's gonna get covered in dust isn't it and i'm probably gonna forget about it or i might just go and shove it in the airing cupboards because to be honest currently that airing cupboard is there's no there's no flipping solution for it currently <laughs> like i literally only just sorted this out and look at it i might just shove that box in there if i'm being honest at least then it won't get covered in dust and then i can sort the projects out and as you can see in my hallway there's stuff as well that needs sorting out I've got a little bit of recycling and then down here is just stuff again that needs sorting but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be it's a lot better so let me just show you that's just stuff that's just fallen on the floor that's an empty cardboard box that just needs recycling this is a box ignore the basket but that's a box with um a couple of clothing items in that I want to try and sell and then there's a box down there full of just like cleaning stuff that I just need to organise and put in the cupboard downstairs. And then in the window I've got like a bunch of like papers that just need to shred in. And a couple of things that just need to go to the dump. And then like some stones that Dexter's picked from the beach that we need to take back really. We need to either paint them. I might get him to paint them and then we'll put them in the garden. Or they need to go back to the beach. But we're not really getting time and energy to go to the beach. So we'll probably end up painting them instead and putting them in the garden. I think that would be a fun little thing for him to do. On the town, looking for someone, anyone to call my name out loud. I get anxious, no one knows me. Standing in the crowd, now I've got your eyes to see mine. And your voice to calm me down and Take me to a movie
Okay, so I've just had a little rest for a bit. I'm just going to quickly make this, um, what's it called? Eczema cream. I'm just going to quickly make this eczema stuff. And then I'll probably end this video here because it is 26 minutes past three. And I need to start editing this video. So um, I think we've established that that iPad thing doesn't work. We put it on charge. It's not working. So I might have to take that to the dump and just forget that whole like idea. But yes, I'm going to make this eczema cream and then I'm just going to... I basically found like a recipe on lime. So I'm very going to quickly make this but i'm gonna put like extra ingredients in it than what this recipe's got because i bought collodial oatmeal and that's meant to like help with itching and stuff with eczema and stuff so i'm just gonna get all the ingredients together and quickly make it so basically i don't know how this is gonna turn out i've never made this before and i found like a recipe online but it's I'm adding extra ingredients to it, so I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out, but we'll see. I'm going to put you on this tripod so that you can see what I'm doing. What I'll do is I'll put the recipe in the description down below as well in case anybody's interested in making it. I've just been watching... Um, death in paradise so i'm sorry if you can just hear me singing all the time so obviously this is not vegan because it's beeswax but um as horrible as it sounds i do use like honey and stuff for health reasons so we very rarely have it but we do have it for health reasons so i want coconut oil and shea butter and i'm going to melt this in the pan coconut oil so a tablespoon a tablespoon of that two tablespoons of shea butter i'm using one of dexter's pans because obviously i don't want to use one that we cook food in so, so this would actually be end up being a tablespoon of that I haven't really got a teaspoon of Manuka honey. So I think what you want to do is, is essentially just, you know, melt it all in together. It doesn't smell too great. I think it's the beeswax. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in seven drops of lavender should make it smell nicer one two three four five six seven probably put a bit more than that because this recipe actually calls for peppermint oil as well but i'm not going to put peppermint oil in it because i'm using it on dexter so i'm just going to use lavender because i know that lavender's safe 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I put 14 drops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to try and get it in both these containers. Use a little funnel. <laughs> Whoops. not actually coming out it's getting stuck oh okay well that's the lip balm one filled this is not actually working out how i hoped it would Ben. what i'm gonna do is let that one dry in there i think and then put the rest of it here I didn't record myself like pouring it in but basically <laughs> excuse the spillage on the side I've put it in this jar so hopefully it will go hard 
at some point and we'll be able to use it as eczema cream and I've also made a um, I just need to like wipe the sides of this down this is meant to be like a lip balm so I can just put it on the bottom of his lip we'll see if it works out because obviously I have no idea if it's gonna work out or not so I'm just gonna leave it to dry and what I'll do is I'll put the recipe in the comment section not comment section but the description if anyone wants to make it for your own skin or your child's skin or whatever but I'm gonna leave this video here because I'm not feeling that great and honestly I'm really not doing anything for the rest of the day I'm just going to be editing this video now so if you got this far thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video I know it was a little bit of a, a different video to what I usually do but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.